it's Jess and welcome back to the Be Your Best Show. Today we are talking about perfectionism, overachieving, and people pleasing. And specifically, I want to know, are you a recovering perfectionist, recovering overachiever, or recovering people pleaser? And I like to use the word recovering in front intentionally because if you continue to call yourself a perfectionist or an overachiever or a people pleaser, you're reaffirming that identity. Maybe you have clung to this identity for a long time. I certainly did for many, many years. And it wasn't until the past like year or two, maybe three, where I really started to realize how some of these traits were holding me back and how I was making life significantly harder for myself by continuing to like wrench onto these with with two, like, what do you call that? Like white knuckling, like when you, like, yeah. I, 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 never mind, English, you know, it's hard today. But I was making my life so much harder for myself. And so that is why I want to talk to you about it today because I have read numerous books over the years and one thing that always fascinates me is kind of the, the way, the differences between the way girls and boys are socialized. Now, excluding all gender-based discussions, but typically little girls and little boys are treated very differently. And I know that my audience is like 99% women or people who identify as female, which is awesome. If you're not, that's great. Welcome here as well. So this episode might not be as relevant for you, but girls, females are raised to be nice and to be polite and to be accommodating and to not raise their voice, to not be aggressive or be assertive or put themselves out there, right? We're trained to be like ladylike, you know? Like you, you wanna be always polite and thoughtful and, and selfless and give to others before you take for yourself because otherwise it would be seen as selfish or rude or arrogant or impolite. And, and we're trained, we're conditioned for years and years and years to do these things, which naturally leads into this people pleaser type behavior where you don't know what your own wants and needs are because you're too busy being afraid to say no to anything and running yourself and your health into the ground. You're burning yourself out. And in my opinion, it these things actually, the, the harder time you have being okay with doing an okay job, not doing it perfect, not overachieving to the point of burnout, not saying yes to everything and everyone, like saying yes to every opportunity, every, because, because there's so many good opportunities, but they're not all good opportunities for you, right? This kind of leads into self, it's a self-worth discussion, right? Like it's not a discussion of the inability to say no or the compulsions to I don't know, use work as a coping mechanism <clears throat> at myself. Like, yeah, I've, I've been there. I've done that. You know, I speak the real, the raw. Like this is, this is my story, my life that I, I don't want you to hit the same kind of low points. And if you can learn anything from this and prevent yourself from getting to a place of complete and utter exhaustion or burnout or living a life that is just it's picture perfect. It's what everybody else dreams of or what everyone else wants for you or thinks is amazing, but you feel like you're in a trap. Don't get to that place, okay? That's what this is here to help you with, to let you know that it's okay to stop. It's okay to start saying no, because if, if you're basing your self-worth off of achievements or pats on the back, good jobs, the um, recognition, the other people, you know, the congratulations, we have to change that entire narrative. And again, this is more work than we can get done in one podcast episode, right? This is continual self-work, continual conversations about affirming yourself and knowing that you are enough and you are doing enough and you are being enough as you are and you don't have to be perfect to be worthy. You don't have to get 100% to excel, to pass because life is not grade school, right? And when... And the thing, the funny thing is being a perfectionist and overachiever or people pleaser that gets you like, I read this quote. It said, if life was one big school system was one big grade school system, women would rule the world <laughs> because, or 
If you're that perfectionist, overachiever, people pleaser, you excel in school. But then as soon as that real life hits and you start adulting, man, the rules of the game have changed, right? And and no longer is it, it, it being a perfectionist in trying to do everything right all the time and putting your health last, that gets you further behind. So the where I want you to go with this, if you identify and you're like, yeah, I am a recovering perfectionist, a recovering overachiever, a recovering people pleaser, I am learning to figure out what I actually want, to set boundaries, to say no to good opportunities if they're not good opportunities for me. I know it's okay to put my health first, right? Like we're, we're working on these things. I heard this quote from this business, other business coach recently, and this is her whole like brand and mantra. She talks about, let it be easy, allowing things to be easy. And especially if you're that recovering perfectionist, overachiever, people pleaser, we're so used to giving. We give, 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 and giving feels selfless and it feels right and it's what we should do. And we actually take pride in giving so much of ourselves to others, to other people, other causes, our jobs, our relationships, etc. On the, the flip side, if you are really comfortable giving, but you are not comfortable receiving, we have to work. It's okay to accept help. It's okay to let things be easy and to come naturally and to know that the more, the, how, the more you, you take care of yourself, the better you feel, the more energy, the more confidence you have, the, the stronger boundaries that you put in place, you're gonna attract ease into your life. You're going to let things, you're, you're going to be able to go with the flow and know that you don't, working hard and grinding yourself to the ground is just one of the available options. And you can continue doing that. But when you are sick and tired of being burnt out and exhausted and stressed and anxious and depressed and putting other people first, there is another option, okay? You have another choice. And I I hope that this inspires you to see things in a different way, that life can be easy and it doesn't have to be sacrifices all the time. Of course, there's trade-offs and there's choices, but don't go for the things where you're gonna have to struggle your way. You, you are worthy of success and happiness and love because you are. There's no, you don't have to sacrifice, you don't have to struggle to be worthy of those things or those admiration or the, of that praise, right? You are worthy because you're, you are, you're a human. That We all, can have these things in life and it doesn't have to be a competition or a struggle or a sacrifice but if you believe that it does you will continue struggling and sacrificing and burning yourself out so we again like i said last time thoughts create actions thoughts create actions which create your behaviors your habits which create your life so if you want to start changing your life you have to start changing your thoughts your mindset and that's what we're here to do so if you identify, the first thing you can do when you hear this episode, and if you're like, okay, you kind of lost me in the woo at the end, that's cool. That's okay, that's okay. But the one takeaway, if you are calling yourself a perfectionist, an overachiever, a people pleaser, and you are wearing your burnout and your inability to say no as a badge of honor, just start by changing, adding one word. I am a recovering perfectionist. I am recovering from burnout. I am recovering workaholic, overachiever, people pleaser, recovering from that. So we are starting to heal. And that's what, and that's what we're doing. We're on this journey together. I am with you. I am walking the road every step of the way. And hopefully I'm just a few steps in front of you and I can help clear the path so it's easier for you to follow on it. Okay. I love you. I'm cheering for you. If you like this episode, please send me a DM, share it on Instagram, tell a friend, invite them to listen to this podcast. If you want to keep it all for yourself because you're like, oh, this is like, I feel like this is not even like accepted, like with the kind of circles I'm in, etc. That's okay. That's okay. Keep it for yourself. Just being you hanging out every week. But either way, I love you. I'm cheering for you and have an awesome day.